Hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of Tech Time with Jesse. Alright, today we are going to be talking about technology. So, one of the topics is iPods. Yes, I know the new iPod Touch has FaceTime, but this one's good. It's a 32 gig, it's a third generation. With the batteries dead, okay. So, anyhow, we're also going to be talking about operating systems. I recommend Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit SP1. Why don't I recommend Windows Vista? Windows 7 has a new improved memory management system. It runs faster than Vista. It's more stable than Vista on a dual core. I'm using Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit SP1 on my Toshiba Satellite A215 S7425. And it runs excellent. Look. See, this is Windows 7. Windows 7 Series Pack 1. That's that. I also... Not only do I have that, but look what else do I have. Virtual PC, Office 2007, Enterprise Service Pack 2. Watch how fast this loads, both of these. I'll be up in a few seconds. This one will take a little bit longer. Well, look, we're loaded. That's that. Okay, now. Here's a new thing I'd like to talk about I haven't talked in any of my YouTube videos about before. This is modding Windows XP and Nlight. This can be done. It's a, it's a fairly simple procedure. It's not hard at all. You can... You can do it very easily. All you need is Nlight, no, Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0. You're going to need at least a recommended gig of RAM in your computer, a DVD burner, blank DVDs. So, what you can do is you can modify the XPOS to make it lighter to your needs. Take off the RAM requirement if you want to run it on your old Pentium 2 or whatever you want. It'll make it run a lot faster. See, it's, it's faster than Windows Fundamentals for legacy PCs. Right now, I'm using Windows 2000, Windows 98 SE, Windows XP, and Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs in Microsoft Virtual PC. I am going to launch Windows 98 Second Edition right now. And this is going to be a full screen test. Alright, YouTube, get ready. Alright, here's the full screen test YouTube of Windows 98 Second Edition on 128 megabytes of RAM in my virtual machine. So, yep, this is Windows 98 on the Toshiba Satellite A215S7425 via virtual PC. It's gonna start up right now. Nice, okay, so. I have Office XP Professional Service Pack 3 on here, which is 2002, latest version this operating system could support, and I have Firefox 2.0.20, the latest version Windows 98 SE can support. Hmm, that's weird. It should have done it right. Hold on a minute. It made a mistake here. Hold on a second. It should have gone right away, but now let's try full screen again. No, it's doing the same thing as it did before. Hold on a minute. That was a technical difficulty. I'm very sorry, YouTube. That's my virtual machine. Probably because it's not finished loading. Like I said, I have Office on here. Hold on a minute, YouTube. There we go. That's what I was trying to show you. Windows 98 with 1280 by 800 resolution. Let's launch up Office XP Pro. Here's Word. That was 
What's that? That's my 98 SE virtual machine. Yep. There's virtual PC console. Now, we're going to start up. I have 1 gig of RAM in this. Let's start up my... And I have uh, 1 gig of RAM in this. Let's start off my Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs virtual machine. I'll show it to you. It's very, it's a very good OS for older computers. I gave it a gig of RAM to make it fast. It's based on XP embedded. I have Source Pack 3 installed on here. Not many programs yet. So anyhow, here's the virtual machine. And yes, I am holding this with my non-dominant hand, my right hand, so I'm sorry if the angling's not good because I'm a lefty anyway. Yep, same boot screens Windows XP Pro. Now, let's, let's let her load. Hold on a sec, I have to check something really quick in the settings. Hardware virtualization. Yep, I have hardware virtualization on here, so it's going to be faster. And this is um, SP1 installed for virtual PC. Yeah, Windows 7 is just running great on this laptop, Home Premium. And I have Flock Web Browser, Firefox, Google Chrome, and Safari. I don't use Safari, though. I'm going to remove it anyway. So here is Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. Here we go. Type my password in. Alright, there we go. It's the OS. That's pretty snappy, I think. It doesn't take that long to load, anyway. I need to install Office 2003 on it. That's another thing I'm going to show you. Or I can put on Office XP Pro. I'm thinking about, though, since I have that on idea, let's go for 2003. I have a 2003 ISO here. Library, um... No. That's not it. Hold on a second. Let me see if I installed it yet. It's thinking. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's slow compared to XP and Virtual PC. It should be working. If I go to full screen mode, it, it's not like adjusting for some reason. Let me try it again. There we go. Now it worked. Let's go Alt Delete. Let me see something really quick. It appears we're having a technical difficulty with those. Wow, that was a lag. That was a huge lag for an for a lightweight OS. Way to go, Microsoft. Way to group go. Yeah, you only have a few programs installed on here anyhow. Let's shut this down. I'm going to boot up XP. So, one more OS we're going to do today. Windows XP. This is professional, yes. And yes, it does run fast. And yes, I do have Office installed on this one. A different version, not saying which one. Okay, so anyhow, here's the VM. I give it a 40 gigabyte virtual hard drive. Should be booting now. Oh, second. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to show you that. Whoops, that was my. Okay, okay. So anyhow, here it is. Windows XP. We're recording using Flock Web Browser here. Okay, so this is a little bit better. Speed, not much.
Anyhow, here it is. Still waiting for the taskbar here. Have the taskbar. Yeah, cancel that. It's genuine. Okay. Let's open up. Let's open up Word. See how fast it opens. It's a speed test here. One, two. Okay. Wow. Lag. Thanks a lot, Microsoft, for making Virtual PC. Now I want to switch over to Oracle's Virtual Box. Because of you, thank you, Microsoft, for making me change my mind about your program. And if you do not have, here's wise words to Jesse. If you do not have at least one gigabyte of RAM, forget about running XP. If you don't have at least two gigabytes of RAM, forget about running seven, unless if you have a dual core like GameCast 99, my friend Patrick. In other news, I would like to give a shout out to my best friend Patrick and my best friend Josh, Cumber J001, and GameCast 999. And I also would like to give a shout out to at least 649316 and another shout out goes to my friend Eddie Madrigal and Gabriela Soto alright well YouTube this is Tech Time with Jesse stay up next video is Windows 2000 running in Virtual PC 2007 so keep your heads on and get ready for the show that is all. Please do not seal my video in any way, shape, or form, or you will be violated and banned.